Yes, children. Hello, how are you? Today I'm going to teach you the third question, okay? Class 10, third assignment. The question over here, you see. Uh, the question three, write a menu driven program. Write a menu driven program to accept a number and check whether it is an evil number or odious number or not. Okay. <clears throat> so what is evil number? An evil number is the positive whole number which has even number of one in the binary equivalent. Like 9 is an evil number because 9 is having how many ones in the binary equivalent? 2. So, which contains even number? 1. So, it is an evil number. An odious number just uh, if the number of 1 is equal to odd. Means just to see one example is the 14. The binary equivalent of 14 is 11101. And here you see how many numbers of 1s are there? 3 numbers of 1s. So, three ones are there. So, it is an odious number. Is it clear? Evil number, if you take any decimal number and if you convert it to the binary equivalent, if number of ones are even, then it is an evil number. And if the number of ones are odd, it is an odious number. So, in this question, first, uh, if you want to understand, then we have to learn um, how to convert any decimal number to the binary equivalent. <laughs> So already I have written one program in Java. So from the beginning, I want to teach you. So just you see how to convert a decimal number to the binary equivalent that I'm going to write. Import java.utils.start that you all know. Then class, class name, public static void main scanner key is equal to new scanner system dot in that you all know system dot out dot print and enter any number then here n is equal to k dot next int function and here then what i'm going to do here i'm writing while w h i l e while n is greater than zero you all know while loop then i'm writing S is equal to S T R I N G string dot value of V A L U E value of N percentage 10 that I will teach you what is value of function and what I am going to do that I will show you don't worry plus S and uh, N is equal to N by 10 that's all then i'm printing here s y s t m system dot o u t out dot p r n g print l n s and main close class close and uh, one more variable s i have to declare so s t r i n g string s is equal to zero i'm going to execute this program don't worry okay now, first you execute this program. Wait, the file is save decimal binary to decimal. Compile string s is equal to space. Okay, compile it. already exist you write decimal one decimal one now no syntax error has come now execute this program decimal one execute this program i'm minimizing this one now you run this program you enter eight it is coming eight why it is coming eight because i have written by 10 so here i have to write by two because any binary number you divide by two no so that's why now you run this program first see the output eight enter yes one zero zero the binary equivalent of eight is one zero zero okay now 
here first you see class abc uh, uh, import java dot utils dot start then class abc class you write then public static void is equal to new scanner system dot in system dot out dot print and enter any number just displaying this uh, comment uh, for the user so that user will enter a number and the number i'm going to accept in a variable n then i have taken one s is equal to space s is a variable space it is a string type variable now here i'm writing while n is greater than zero now s is equal to string dot value of n percentage 2 plus s so what is that 8 if you assume 8 if you divide by 8 8 percentage to 8 if you divide by 2 and if you calculate the remainder the remainder will become 0 and 0 will be added to s and here you see as s is a string and that zero also I'm by the by the value of function what I'm going to do I'm converting the, this zero to string value of function converts any data type to the string type string type and two string type if you join if you add it will concat it will join so here zero is converting to a string and that string is going to join to another string s which is a space so zero plus a space will become zero space now n is equal to n by two n by 2 means quotient the same number 8 i am dividing by 2 and i am calculating the quotient so 8 2 4 is a 8 so 4 is the quotient 4 i am going to give to n now again the loop will go up and it will check is it n is greater than 0 yes it is 4 4 is greater than 0 now again i am dividing 4 by 2 so 2 2 ja 4 remainder is 0 now percentage used to calculate the remainder so remainder is 0 so 0 is converting to the string and going to add to s your s is already 0 space and extra 0 has come now now 0 0 space s will become 0 0 space now n is equal to n by 2 2 2 is a 4 i told you so the value of n will become 2 quotient is 2 the quotient is going to initialize to n n will convert to 2 that is the nature of the variable now who change its value during the execution of the program remember this so the value of n is each and every time n is changing s is also changing the value that is the nature of the variable variable is the memory pockets that you know now the value of n is changing each and every time in the at the time of execution of the program again the control will go up and it will check is it n is greater than zero yes n is two now so two is greater than zero so two again you are dividing by two so two ones are two remainder is zero now again remainder is zero already race is containing zero zero extra zero has come now now three zero 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 space s will become zero 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 space okay now n is equal to n by two now two ones are two one Co quotient is one so quotient is going to n n has become one now now loop will go up is it one is greater than zero yes now one you divide by two two zeros are zero remainder is one now the remainder if you divide one by two two zeros are, this is the way computer will calculate two zeros are zero remainder is one remember this okay so the remainder will become one now one you are going to add to s so already your s is containing zero 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 extra one you have added so it will become one zero 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 remember this okay now n is equal to n by 2 n will become 0 now two zeros are 0 i told you so n will become 0 the quotient will become 0 now n will become 0 loop will go up and it will check is it n is greater than 0 yes so n has become uh, n is greater than 0 no no n is not greater than 0 n has become 0 so the loop will come out i mean the control will come out from the program and it will print the value of s and here the value of s is printing uh, 1000 for the value of 8 now again you execute this program uh, 9 you give 9 1001 you give any number execute this program now 45 enter any number you give 14 it will convert it to the binary equivalent you give 14 14 enter uh, okay now as i have discussed i have already um, discussed here that uh, 9 is evil number because number of 1 is 2 14 is uh, odious number because uh, number of 1 is number of 1 is 3 so 3 the so number of 1 if odd then it is an odious number and number of 1 is even then it is an evil number so now the next question already i have written here see this program here the same program as i have just now discussed that how to convert it to the up to that to same program i have discussed how to convert any decimal number to the binary equivalent extra what i am going to do here whatever the number i have uh, con converted to the uh, binary equivalent that uh, i am calculated the length of that number that means number of characters are there in the binary equivalent 
as eight, if you take as an example, the uh, binary equivalent of eight is 1000 or nine if you take the binary equivalent of nine is one zero zero one that is number of one is one two three four so length will calculate four so how many characters are there four uh, some variables are there you see i k k is equal to zero and care c three variables i have taken here moving a loop from zero to l zero to less than l what is the l i what just now how, how much what is the value of l i have calculated four so loop is moving from zero to less than four that is zero to three and caret function used to calculate extract the character from the given string. Here the value of a string is uh, 1001. So each and every time it is extracting the character from S. Caret i means caret 0. Value of i is 0. So first character it is going to extract and giving to C. If C is equal to 1, increasing the counter kk. Now you tell me this is caret 0, caret 1 caret 2, caret 3, this way, each and every character it is going to extract. Now here you see, caret 0, first character is 1. Is it 1? Yes. Then k++ plus plus will become, kk I have um, initialized 0. So first here it is 1, then here it will be 2. The value of kk will be 2. If kk is divisible by 2, then it is an evil number any number if it is divisible by two obviously it is an even number and if number of ones here i am calculating number of ones by the help of this filter this if statement if number of ones are even it is an evil number otherwise it is an odd number now i am going to execute this program children now right click void min execute this program now uh, you just give nine and enter yeah, 9 is a 9, number of 1s are 2, and so it is an evil number. Now you enter the next example as it is given in the um, question. 14, 14, face enter. Yeah, 14, 110, see 14, 110, 1110. And here, number of 1s are 3, 1, 2, 3, and so it is an odious number. Is it clear, children? You have understood? Okay. So try to uh, practice these programs. Hmm. And uh, execute it in your house and write it down. And one more thing I want to tell you that uh, the links and the programs, I'm going to uh, attach all the links in my under in the video, YouTube video. Uh, you please download if you want to. So if you click that link, no automatic, those very uh, programs will be downloaded as a PDF format and you keep it. And you can take the printout or otherwise afterwards in future also you can see it. It will help you in future. Okay, children.